Hello everyone, it's Joe Blue, and today I'm going to be going over another Mountain Blade Bandler tutorial. This tutorial is going to be going over the best starting money making method within the game. This is a great way of obtaining dinars for your Bandler playthrough, and it's a great way to snowball up within the game by building up your economic base. And this is a great starting method, as the items can be bought extremely cheap, and the items that you get from having this item can be sold for over 10 times the value which leads to immense profits. And I've just found out about this method through with the help of my YouTube comment section. So if you have any helpful tips at all, make sure to comment them down below. And if you have any ways of making money whatsoever, also feel free to drop a comment. All right, anyways, that's enough talking. So let's just hop straight into the guide. Okay, so let me first start off by telling you what the item just so happens to be. And this item so happens to be old workhorses. Yes, I mean it. Old workhorses are extremely profitable items within the game of Bannerlord. The margins for profits that you can get from these workhorses are absolutely insane. And when you think about how the devs want to keep destroying our economic freedom within the game, this money making method is actually incredibly awesome, especially when you are first starting out within the game. I found it to be extremely effective within the start of the game because it's cheap and highly effective. Okay, so I'm sure you have a few questions on how exactly you get these old workhorses and how they cannot be found anywhere else but a certain place. Well, let me explain. Old workhorses are obtained by trading directly with villagers. What I mean by this is finding a group of villagers on the map and approaching them. And then once you are in the screen with them, you're going to want to talk about the markets and that you're going to one too. And once you do this, you will be brought to a trade screen. And once you get to this trade screen, you are going to see that there are old workhorses for grain, cheese, and butter. There will be all kinds of different items there. But you are going to want to buy the old workhorses more specifically. And there's six dinars here, but previously, before, they've been anywhere from four to eight dinars from what I've seen. So you, the margins are even higher than you could possibly think they would be because you can find them for cheaper in other places of the map. And as well, the fur is only 75 dinars and fur easily sells in other cities across the map for much more in profit for around 100 dinars, if I am not mistaken. And the grain is very cheap. It's only nine per grain. And the cheese is all right. And the butter is pretty good as well it's pretty well priced so you can make a profit off that and they will give you the price that you want to have them for which will probably be around a thousand dinars and you're going to want to purchase that next up you are going to want to go to your inventory and you are going to want to find the old work horses and what you're going to want to do is brutally slaughter these like and use them to get meat just like mcdonald's does to fulfill all their meat needs so you're just going to slaughter every single one of these horses for their meat, just like McDonald's would if they were playing the game of Bannerlord, because they sure do love their horse meat in their meat, in their meat items, sorry. Of course they love horse meat in the meat. But anyways, so once you're done with that, you're going to want to scroll down into resource sections. Sorting it first helps but you're going to want to scroll all the way to find your meat. As you can see, they sell for 28 dinars each, and that's not even the most that I have seen it sell for. I've seen it sell for around 40 to 50 over, like 50 plus dinars whatsoever, and that means that you turn like four or six or eight dinars into a hundred dinars, because you get two pieces of meat per horse, so you get 40 per meat, and you bought that horse for eight. So for each meat, you're paying four dinars for, and you're making $40, or 40 dinars, sorry, not dollars, for each meat that you sell. And that's not even the limits. Like, some places have meat incredibly expensive. Like, there might even be pushing 60s, if I remember uh, correctly within the memories. But basically, that's all there is to it. You turn, you get old workhorses, you turn them, into meat by slaughtering them and then you sell that meat to cities which gives you the immense amount of profit 
and this is an extremely effective method so i highly recommend that you do this starting out but anyways that about wraps up video thank you to every single one of you for subscribing i highly appreciate it and make sure to like the video and subscribe this has been Drow blue